An American fable. Once upon a time, way down south of the border in tiny Tupelo, Chihuahua, in Mexico, a soon-to-be legend was born. Orphaned as a baby, but never abandoned, for women were always nearby, primping, competing for his attention, and at the slightest curl of a lip, they'd come running. It seemed all women wanted to be his friends, his lovers, his backup singers. But who is the mamacita of this orphan? And more importantly, who is his papa Cito? I have been searching for my true parents, and I think I have narrowed it down to two people, and that could be Elvis, naturalmente. Well, thank you, ma'am. And who else could be my mama, pero Charo. Gucci, Gucci. The child of Elvis and Charo. See, si. well, you know, they were together in, they, well, they were both in Las Vegas in 1960, which is the time of my conception. Viva Las Vegas. Being in the same city, that's si. close enough. In Las close Vegas, enough. anything can, can happen. Can happen in Las Vegas. Whether real or merely a psychic fusion of Elvis and Charo, the fallout from their explosive talents is Elvis, the Mexican Elvis. I know I will never outshine the light of Elvis Presley, and that's not my intent, but I would like to, you know, spread, help spread his words in his rock and roll. Andale pues, andale pues, come on. This being Elvis International Tribute Week, Elvez and his Elvets headed to Memphis to share the word with thousands of other Elvis orphans, reliving the memories of the king. I'm trying to understand the mystical meaning of it all. I finally run across Elvez again. The Mexican Elvis is conquering Memphis. But wouldn't he really like to be known for himself? <laughs> people to see me and say, ay, Elvis. <laughs> you want them buying Elvis records? Elvis records, Elvis movies, Elvis t-shirts, and towels and sheets. 